नमस्कार माय नेम इज नंदिनी प्रोफेसर नंदिनी साहू आई एम ए प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश एट इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू दिल्ली इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माय क्रिएटिव एंड माय क्रिटिकल एंगेजमेंट्स विद लिटरेचर एंड लैंग्वेज आई एम ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम ओडिशा and i have been living in delhi since the year 2006 uh, teaching as a professor of english and of course i am a creative writer a poet and a folklorist i have been trying to contribute to the society in my small little way by helping my research scholars my students i am a very dedicated teacher i think teaching is the most important and the noble profession that life has given me life has given me an opportunity to teach my students and help them out with their creative as well as their critical research work uh, my first book was published in the year 2004 the other voice it's a poetry collection of course by that time i had already written quite a few poems in different journals and magazines and newspapers uh, across uh, the states in the country i did my uh, post graduation uh, in odisha and after that i did my phd uh, in english literature under a uh, late professor niranjan mohanty uh, from vishwabharati shanti niketan uh he was a poet uh, and uh, i was inspired by my supervisor late professor niranjan mohanty as well as uh padmasri late professor jayant mahapatra who passed away last month i did my phd on his poetry recollection as redemption a study in the poetry of jayant mahapatra ak ramanujan r patra sarathi and kamla das that is when i started my journey as a jayant mahapatra scholar and recently uh, i have uh, published a book on jayant mahapatra rereading jayant mahapatra i would talk about that book but anyway uh, out of my eight poetry collections i have a few here uh, one is silver poems on my lips the other one is uh, zero point uh, this is my poetry book zero point and uh, the other collection this is my tribal poetry collection sukama and other poems and uh, my most uh, uh, important and enduring poetry collection which is close to my heart is sita a poem where i have deconstructed the character sita from the ramayan and i have placed her vis-a-vis uh, the contemporary uh, women and uh, this is uh, it my book collected poems uh, of niranjan mohanty my supervisor which i edited and compiled with a long introduction of 100 pages and it's published this year from the author's press uh, people who work on the poetry of niranjan mohanty would be definitely benefited by this collection and uh, this is my own poetry collection uh, collected poems of nandini sahu uh, some of my old poems from the previous collections which were out of print and a couple of new poems everything is included here and there is a long introduction by uh, professor anand prakash from delhi university who is an eminent scholar and a poet himself so this uh, poetry book is also published from the authors press and uh, uh, this is my uh, recent book on jayant mahapatra padmasri late professor jayant mahapatra rereading jayant mahapatra and uh, in this uh, i uh, give a critical introduction near about 100 pages and then i have taken uh, most of the published poems and few unpublished poems of uh, uh, professor jayant mahapatra and the sir was very happy uh, with this book and he had selected uh, the cover of this book himself and uh, he passed away last month leaving a void in indian poetry scenario and uh, these are my uh, two books on folk literature folklore and the alternative modernities i have critical engagement with folk literature i have designed academic programs on 
uh, American literature, uh, American poetry and drama, post-colonial literature, British romantic literature, uh, children's literature, and all those uh, mainstream uh, literary studies. I have designed a lot of academic programs for my university, IGNO. Apart from that, I have designed uh, a complete MA in folklore and culture studies. Uh, this is one of those courses out of the nine courses. This is one of the courses just for uh, your information. Uh, if you go to the university website www.igno.ac.in, you will find all the nine courses open access in the EGAN course MFC. MFC 0012, MFC 009. Uh, so this is my uh, folklore research. Also, I have been instrumental in uh, the UGC net examination in folk literature. Uh, so the students uh, who write uh, that UGC net examination will be hugely benefited by uh, this uh, MA in folk literature, also the two folklore books that I have. And currently I am working on a major uh, program on uh, IKS, um, Indian Knowledge Systems. I'm working on that, which is in tandem with uh, uh, the vision and the mission of the government of India uh, to uh, do critical research, uh, to initiate critical research on our Indian knowledge systems and uh, our dying languages, our endangered cultures. So uh, that is a major research uh, that I am doing currently. Apart from that, uh, this is my uh, story collection, Shedding the Metaphors. It was published by uh, the Black Eagle Publications uh, uh, this year. And the book is doing very well. It was launched by uh, the Honorable Education Minister Sri Dharmendra Pradhanji, and also there was a complete uh, seminar. Uh, uh, let's not call it a seminar. It there was a program on this book launch uh, where Professor Yogesh Singh, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Delhi University, uh, conducted a complete program on uh, this book, shedding the metaphors, and a lot of critical research is going into it. Uh, within very few months of its publication, more than uh, 20 or 25 uh, research articles and uh, review articles have come on this story collection in uh, various journals and uh, books and newspapers. And I'm so grateful to my readers for giving so much of love and affection to uh, this book. And now two of my poetry books are under publication. One is Kern. Uh, where I have taken the character Kern from uh, the Mahabharata and I have deconstructed the character. And I have talked about uh, Kern from masculinity studies and from Dalit studies perspectives. And uh, that book is under publication. Also, another poetry collection, Medusa, is under publication. Uh, I have submitted uh, the complete work and it's under publication. So let's hope that by the end of this year, uh, both the books will be in print. So, uh, and a couple of my books have been also translated to Hindi by uh, Sri Dinesh Kumar Maliji. Sita has been translated and uh, this uh, Shedding the Metaphors, uh, some of the stories have been translated. Nandini Sahu Kachaninda Kahaniya and Sita, Sita Devars, it has been, both the books have been translated. Uh, I feel very fortunate uh, to have got a platform uh, living in the heart of the country in Delhi and delivering varieties of lectures in many universities and helping many universities to design their academic programs on folklore and culture studies, which is my basic area of research and uh, teaching. Uh, also, oh, I feel very fortunate that uh, life has given me all the, all the facilities and all the uh, promising uh, things that any writer would need or desire. Uh, I'm extremely grateful to all of you, my dear readers. Uh, you can have, you know, uh, a look at uh, my academic uh, research activities in www.kavinandini.blogspot.in, also in www.randinisahu.in. And if you want to connect with me, you would want to contribute uh, to the journals or the books or whatever work I have been doing, if you want to contribute, please feel free. To email me at nandanisahu at ignore.ac.in. Thank you. Namaste.